Hi and welcome to this demonstration of Dragon Naturally Speaking 9. Dragon makes the claim, turn talk into text. What a fantastic idea. And actually, quite often, it does a pretty good job of it. The problem is, Dragon makes a big claim. And that claim is that it can provide uh, speech recognition. Not only that, but it can provide speech recognition up to 99%. The issue I have is, 99% is what I call misleading and the reason is although it can do very good recognition some of the time there's a lot of the time where it does a really bad recognition in fact it does it really really bad and can make it painful to edit if you've ever seen dragon presented say let's say at a trade show you'd be amazed at how great uh, the results are you buy the software you go home and you install it you do the training it won't be long before you may not be very impressed. In this demonstration today, we hope to give you a better view of Dragon, what it can do, what it can't do, and some of its limitations. So, we'll have a look. What we'll do at this stage is load up a Word document and see how Dragon goes. Okay, here is the Word document. What I'll do now is enable Dragon and see some of the results we can produce is a test recording with Dragon. Let's see how it goes. As you can see, that looks like a great result. In fact, it's 100% correct for that line. Full stop, new line, new line. I have a son and his name is Lachlan. I also have a daughter. Her name is Genevieve. We live in a suburb called Tormina. Problems with voice recognition is it never makes a spelling mistake. Instead, it actually puts the wrong words in. It's like a needle in a haystack. Problem is, you don't know where the needles are because they're the same colour as the hay. As you can see, there's no red squiggly lines for Microsoft Word, so at first glance, it looks like everything is spelt correctly, which is not the case. I'll actually delete this text now, and we'll dictate some more. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to record some audio, and I'm going to simulate me having a head cold and I'm going to squeeze my nose and change how I speak. Let's see how Dragon handles this. I'm now simulating an example of Dragon working with someone with a head cold. As you can see this is quite a little bit off. This is a head cold not a headed goal. What Dragon does is when it makes a mistake, it quite often doesn't make one mistake. It's trying to do artificial intelligence, so it can actually make not one mistake, but multiple mistakes, which can really throw you off. In my opinion, Dragon is best suited for professionals that A, cannot type very fast, or B, do not have any support staff. If you have support staff and you send through a document like this, chances are good you'll drive them nuts because what they then need to do is correct it. And as demonstrated, it's not obvious where the mistakes are. Dragon will not spell words incorrectly. Dragon will just simply put the wrong words in. Not only will it put the wrong words in, but it won't put one word in wrong. It can put multiple words in.